Greetings everyone. Thanks again once again for tuning in to Porch Talk. On this episode on Porch Talk, we're going to talk about why relationships tend not to work. Now, before I begin on my stance, because this is what it is, it's my stance. I cannot say this is 100% fact, but I'm going to speak from my perspective and what I truly believe. And maybe through listening to this video, you might find that you agree with me too. So make sure you comment about, down below and tell me how you truly feel about it. So in relationships, I tend to think, and I could be wrong, that both sexes have gotten this whole thing about, I don't want to be the fool. Okay. I don't want to be the fool. He ain't about to play me, girl. Uh-uh, fuck that. I ain't about to be. He, he don't know who he messing with, girl. Uh-uh, petty as fuck. I get his ass. I light him up, girl. Shit, fuck that. I light the motherfucking block up, girl. You see me on the 5 o'clock news. Fuck that. Who you think he messing with? Dudes. Man, shit. You, you can't be worried about these hoes. You know what I'm saying? They be on that bullshit. You know, fuck these hoes. You know, we just we just play with them, let them go. You know, it ain't about shit. All this foolishness. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you want to be in a successful relationship, unfortunately, you got to put pride aside. Because if you're always in the back and you're always thinking, I don't want to be the fool, I don't want to be the bitch, I don't want her to make a punk out of me, I don't want to give my all and then look soft and then she do me wrong and vice versa, I don't want to do this for him, I ain't about to be no bitch, ain't about to make me no fool, hell no, and all that shit. You will not, it's going to be tough, I'm going to tell you, it's going to be uphill battle because that mind frame is going to always have you on the defense. So everything, you, you, you arguing about shit you don't even need to argue about. You know what I mean? Here's the thing, let me put this in perspective. Outside of abuse, and I'm not going to go down a list of abuse because we all know what abuse can be more than physical. And infidelity, what is there really to break up about? I think it's the, st I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the statistic is um, about 60% of marriages end up in a divorce. And why is that? Because either you want to win or you don't. Either you want to put in the work or you don't. The reason why the relationship failed because someone or both of the someones decided they didn't want to do it anymore. They didn't want to work anymore. It wasn't worth it, so they quit. So really at the end of the day, if you want to be successful in your relationship, you got to want to be successful and you have to put in the work. You can't be afraid to be the fool. Now listen, you got to use your head, okay? You have to use your head and you do have to guard your heart, but in moderation though. Let's not be ridiculous, okay? There is, there, you know what I'm saying? You got to have a, a, a minute middle ground in everything you do um, and it's another thing I would like to suggest and I think it's a problem too too many people are in this kind of like the same thing operating out of emotion versus logic if you're always a person that's always reactive and operating out of their emotions will not get too far because you have to keep a calm cool collective head and you have to be thinking to overcome obstacles and I'm gonna tell you relationships is probably one of the hardest obstacles to overcome in life okay we need relationships with everything relationships with our parents relationships with our spouses relationships with our creator relationships with nature you have to be able to be in one with energy relationships are important and that's just a fact um, everybody's not going to have the same amount of relationships. Some people might like a posse. Some people might, might like to roll solo. But that doesn't mean they don't have relationships. It's just they operate differently in those relationships. But back to being with the opposite sex. You can't sit there always working out of your ego. Because you know what? In the end, while you're trying so hard not to be the fool, while you're trying so hard not to get got, your ass is going to get got. Because unfortunately, sometimes when we try the hardest to avoid, we actually pull it toward us. So you might want to consider that. And I could be wrong. Maybe my theory is wrong. Maybe my assertions is far-fetched. But that's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it. So... You know, you got to do the work. Point blank in the period. Like you have to do the work to want your relationship to thrive. Um, 
you know, it, think about the last time you had an argument with your spouse. In the back of your mind, you was probably thinking, oh, he, he or she is on some bullshit. You're trying to piece it, you know, pick apart, dissect and shit like it's a scientific experiment in high school or what kind of bullshit they be, can be on it. You adding up times and shit. You checking up gas mileage and all. Fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, whatever a person is doing behind your back, <laughs> it won't take long. You'll figure it out. I'm not saying be no dummy now. But you know, going around being a private detective, get that for your profession. It better be making you some money. Because you ain't got no business breaking and killing yourself over somebody else. You got to do all of that that you're trying to be in a relationship with. You need to let that go. Okay? So let it go. Because that's crazy. You can't be spending, some of y'all spend more time investigating your spouse than you do making money. And that's crazy. Okay, some of y'all are excellent private detectives and you, it should really be your profession. Some of y'all know so damn much. Y'all should be mediums. It should be your pr profession. Stop all of this. Seriously. It's crazy. So I think ultimately what hurts relationships is pride and the fear of being the fool. And everybody pays the fool. There's no exception to the rule. Haven't y'all heard that song? If you haven't, may maybe not. You might be too young to have heard that. But it's true. You got to play the fool at some point so you can learn how not to be the fool later. I mean, we don't come in this world with a wealth of knowledge and just knowing everything. We learn by trial and error. Now, if you keep running into the same damn issue, there's something wrong with you. You, need to, you might need to get a little checkup. And that's another situation because you should be learning along the way. You shouldn't keep bumping your head with the same issues. That shows that you got a little problem. Either you're not open to be receptive of what's really going on. You like to live in the land of la la and you don't like to see things for reality. Or maybe you just like fucking not subside your head because you keep banging it. I don't know. I mean, it could be anything. But approach your relationship with the goal to win it. I'm in it to win it. And as long as you do, if, you report, if, if you're successful and you approach your relationship like you do your, your um, career, your business, and that's successful, you'll be successful in your relationship. Everything in this life that we obtain, that we win at, we have to work at. And that's just the fact. So that's my take on why I believe that relationships fail. Thank you very much. Make sure you comment down below because without your comments i can't know what you're thinking what you like what you don't like make sure you like share and tag a friend make sure you hit that red button label subscribe at the end of this video you might see the porch talk emblem that will allow you to subscribe as also if you press it okay make sure you follow me here every week on porch talk at youtube um, I post videos Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You can follow me on Instagram at Rocky Road Productions LLC Porch Talk. Facebook, Love Ebony. And I also have a Porch Talk page on Facebook that's a like page. But all links to my social media is in the description of this video. So you can click on that and follow me as well. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in once again. And you have a great day. Bye.